Hello everyone. You might remember this interface, which was the placeholder interface I created out of Gizmos. Well, I've finished most of the player interface and I thought I'd show you. First off, let's switch to something that doesn't muck up the field at all. So, I'm going to go ahead and enter. Uh, in the future, I'll be there'll be a transition between walking mode, where when you enter walking mode, you'll be able to bounce off of stuff. All of the colliders exist, I'm just not using them at the moment. This is the mail desk, and the mail desk processes incoming mail and sends it out to one of those locations. You can see how the locations flicker. Um, let's see if we can watch them happen again. Flick, 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 flick. And that's in the order of priority. So this has the lowest priority because it flickers last. And that means that this over here will catch whatever falls through. It's just a storage location. And then at the, in the night it feeds back in. And that's all fully implemented. You can see that these desks each take one particular kind of science and process it. So uh, let's go ahead and fast forward until one of these guys gets the requisite number of... There we are. Is that... Nope, that's only seven. There we go. So over on the left here, this guy doing astrophysics is about to finish processing or collating all of these documents, and then he'll send it over to the writer desk. See? Now the writer will process all of these documents. And then he'll send it over to the mail desk. And then of course the mail desk will process it and send it out, and you'll get your science points. If we were to look over here, you can see timer acceleration. That was the thing I was doing earlier. But we'll get to see the posting about how many science, point that's, science points that earned us in a second here. You can see that this fall through area also picked up a lot of stuff. Ah, 235 astrophysics. So this uh, this picks up a lot of stuff because these are full. They're waiting on the on the writer desk, and then they transfer it over to the writer desk. Now these will filter back into the mail desk when the mail desk stops getting mail from the morning mail rush, and that's also fully implemented. If we were to stand around long enough, we'd see that happen. Might as well. And you can see the shadows change as the day wears on. So we've entered the afternoon. I'm moving on towards the evening. Now it's night. And that means that the mail should have stopped coming, but it seems to be still still coming along. I, I had thought that we... I must have accidentally set the mail rate a little higher than I remembered. Ah, here we are. See how it's filtering back in now? See? And of course, I always I also have the building system working, so we can build structures if we'd like and create walls or delete walls as we see fit. Whatever we want. Um, and we can also place buildings like these guys. But we can't connect them yet. We can't put these connections in yet because I haven't gotten quite that far. But it's not too far off. Uh, it will happen eventually. Uh, for now, I just wanted to go ahead and show you that it looks a lot nicer once it's actually in the game world. So you use the sca you use the scene view and the gizmos as a scaffold, and then you can leap forward to something like this, which is significantly uh, uh, more nice to look at. 